Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about Git. In this tutorial we're going to take a look on how to deal with auto-merging errors, why they happen and how to solve them. So, for example, I'm currently on the uh, branch master. If I uh, analyze which branches I have in my local repo, you can see here I have the beta and the master branch. I'm currently was working on the master. That's perfect. Let's open a file from this current branch and let's say that I'm going to update this paragraph. I'm actually going to duplicate this paragraph here and I'm gonna create another paragraph here. That's perfect. This is another paragraph. This is the last paragraph. Just some edits, nothing special. Just remember that we created, as stated in the Git Cutter extension of Sublime, we created four new lines that are not currently part of the master branch. So we have these additions here and, nine, and line 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, no problem. Let's go with the usual git status and let's say let's git add everything and let's commit. I did a couple of new p tags. Perfect. Now we committed our branch master and all these new edits are currently staged inside our commit. So they're perfect. We don't need to push it to uh, the origin or like to the remote repository uh, for the sake of this example. Let's switch branch and let's say git checkout beta. Perfect. We switch to beta. So uh, as you notice here, we don't have a style.css in the beta branch and also the index.html doesn't have all those paragraphs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna populate those paragraphs like in the exact same positions that I had in the master branch, other stuff, I'm gonna change other things. So for example, let me add this paragraph and say, this is another extra paragraph. And then here I'm gonna create an H2. This is an H2. And then in line 12, I'm going to create a small tag and call this is a small tag, whatever, like nothing special. But what I did, why I created this code is because I coded, I wrote something completely different on the same lines, on the same rows that previously in the master branch, I added those paragraphs. So now let's simulate what would happen normally in a regular type of environment when you're coding a project. You're on your beta branch, so let's say git status, of course we have the index. Say git add index and git commit updated index structure, just like something really simple. Okay, now all these edits are committed and that's perfect. Now what I want to do, I want to uh, switch back to the master and merge the beta branch to the master branch. So let's git checkout master and then let's git merge beta and send. And of course now we have something wrong here. We have an auto merging issue that is a conflict. Git recognizes that there's a conflict in the index.html file because this is happening because our um, the code that we wrote in the master and the code that we wrote in the beta in two different moments are occupying the same section are occupying exactly the same lines and are totally completely different codes as you know this year we don't have a, a merging issue in the h1 or in the body because even if this code was occupying was like living on the same rows, the code was identical, the tags were identical, so Git was able to merge those two different codes. And of course you have, uh, we have back the style.css, the license didn't change, in the index.html inside our editor, you will notice that we have these weird tags, and these tags are what Git creates to separate and uh, leave you the option to choose which code do you wanna um, you want to maintain. So the tags that are inside this head type of um, 
container, as you notice, they start here with this minus sign and the close here with this uh, equal signs and then head is the title of this section, is the code that we wrote in the master branch. So we are currently in the master branch, so this is our head, that's what's it on top, and this is the code that we have inside the head. Down below is the other code that we're trying to merge that it's inside and belongs to the beta branch, the branch that we are trying to uh, merge together. And that's what happens when we have an auto merging issue. These issues are totally normal, especially if multiple developers are working on the same code base, on the same file, and implementing different stuff based on what they're working on. So it's totally normal. This happens, and this is how you deal with it. You recognize which branch, like what's the code that you coded, and what's the code that it's trying to be merged from another branch. And then it's just manual stuff, like do you need to keep this? No, do you need to keep that? No, it doesn't matter, you want to remove that, so let's say that uh, from the head branch I want to maintain the paragraph, I don't need this too because this was a mistake, and then I want to maintain this. Of course you can do pretty much everything, you can maintain this structure and just remove these extra characters if you want, if you want to maintain both a code base from both branches. If we save it and we try to get status, only this index.html was modified, even if the branch beta merged everything else, it recognizes that the index was modified. So usually what I do at this point, I just git add and commit and I use a standard type of commit message that is like fixing merging issues. And that's perfect. And at this point, because we updated this code, if we check out the beta branch, we go back here, of course, the index reverts back to the status of the beta. So now if we try to add something else, for example, let's add an h3 tag. This is an h3 tag, oops, h3. And we commit again. So get add, get commit. Add another tag, and then we switch again to the master branch. Check update is the index different. That h3 tag is interfering with this thing. So if we do again a git merge beta, we are gonna have not an auto merging issue because we already solved previously an auto merging issue on those lines and the head, the master branch, the, the branch that we're currently working on is ahead of the beta. So the system knows automatically to merge these things even if those lines interfere with each other, that fixed already happened. So we can just exit Vim by typing column and Q and press enter, and then we're gonna have an update. Automatically, git knows that this h3 tag, even if in the master, in the beta branch, it's on line 15 or 13 or something, it's interfering with what's inside the master branch, git knows that this is an addition, an extra addition, and doesn't have to replace what's before, what's after. So it's pretty much it for this quick lesson, thank you so much for checking it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, and until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding!